Osteoporosis is also known as brittle bone disease. It will affect mostly women postmenopausal. The estrogen that comes around when a woman has a period helps the bone lay down new bone tissue. So as the menopause goes on and that estrogen declines, so does the bone mass production. So in a sense, the bones are becoming more porous. So osteo means bones, porosis means porous. The problem with it is there is no screening on the NHS. Yeah, it is, it is a problem. Uh, people recognise it's a problem because they look at the pound signs of how much it costs when you do nothing about osteoporosis, which is hip fractures, uh, which costs the, the country something like £2 billion a year. The problem is, to prevent it, you need to do screening, such as what's going on behind me in, in there, and to set up screening requires money. It, uh, and that's, unfortunately, no government yet has decided that, to prioritise osteoporosis. Um, my primary role is a consultant, so I just go through what happened, any risks they might have. The first thing I ask is if they have any mobility problems. Then I go onto the diet, just asking them if they're aware of the foods that have a high calcium level just to prevent the decline of bone density. I found out that I'm 15% above average, so it was really good, surprising actually. I thought I was going to have it, so I was very surprised. I'm glad that I came and I think yeah. it's a really worthwhile thing, you yeah. know, and I hope they get good feedback from it. The scam was really good. I was really pleased to come down today to do it. So, um, yeah, it was really good and I'm, I'm all right, which is good to get. Yeah. It's designed for the access to nursing and the access to science students. Uh, they study disease and infection. They've had three weeks of practice on each other. Today they're actually running a live clinic with real people doing real scans and giving them, giving them medical results. Basically it's the closest that they will come to, to running a, a clinic before they go live in real clinic situations when they're at university. We will be offering smoothies to try and help build bone density. Yeah. Um, we have leaflets, we have advice, we're prepared to give people the information they need now while they are young enough to take it. Basically we can help protect generations in the future. Space for the students of the, I believe, the science, uh, nursing and midwifery, just to get an exposure to patients and uh, the whole health um, exposure to what they're going to be doing, what to expect um, when they study at their university. And it's all about osteoporosis. They learn it, they learn all about it in their biology module. So uh, I would imagine quite a lot of information is uh, new to them. Yeah. Eventually, most of them will be working with patients yeah. in the NHS or other healthcare. It is a good opportunity for them to see how it works in the real world, yeah. As I understand it, bone density screening is not something that the UK does as a natural event, uh, unlike the rest of Europe. We are one of the few European countries that don't do preventative screening on the NHS. However, the machinery that you're seeing used in there was invented in the United Kingdom. So it's a British machine. Everyone else is buying it and using it, except the British. It's a huge amount of information that they convey about exercise and diet and why women get osteoporosis and why men don't. It's heavily linked to hormones and they will give them lots of explanation and give them a professional brochure which they've created themselves. Yeah, it was really good, actually. I think it would be a good good thing to offer routinely. It's quite nice to see that at least something is being done.